Welcome back to Tiny Bench. This is part three of the Macintosh 2205 repair and restoration in which we will replace the lights with LEDs and test the performance of the amplifier. The electrical restoration of the amplifier has been completed. I want to try some LED bulbs. I am not sure they will look good, so let's try them. This meter in person just looks old. This looks more modern. They are an improvement, definitely are an improvement. They should last longer. Also, as you can see, the heat from the lamps, I believe is what causes the blistering and the paint. So changing to LEDs will uh, keep the amplifier running cooler, will uh, draw a little bit less current. So there's also some lights that, uh, that I need to uh, replace from the bottom of the amplifiers, the, the lights that illuminate the lettering. On the front panel okay well i'm gonna go ahead and replace the other ones as well how's your day going so far let me know in the comments do you have one of these are you planning on restoring it hope this video helps okay that's done In person, there's a, a little bit of darkening here. Not, not too bad that it's not visible on the camera. The change that you just saw on light, that's the camera that is not happening. It looks quite nice. I'm gonna replace the other lights from the bottom. Wow, that is much better. Woohoo! Wow, the lettering looks awesome. I got this on Amazon. Wow, that looks amazing. Better than I thought, way better than I thought. Okay, there's some incandescent bolts behind this that I will also replace with LEDs.
Beautiful. You got something to say? You got something to say? Say it. Before I test the amplifier on my sound system to see how it sounds, I want to measure two things. I want to measure, make sure that it can produce its rated power and that the power guard is engaging properly. This amplifier is equipped with a power guard system which will not allow the amplifier to go into clipping. So once it reaches a certain level of distortion, these two lights will turn on red and will prevent the amplifier from going into clipping, which we will be monitoring on the oscilloscope. The sine wave will, should not clip at any point. And I also have the amplifier connected to my Sencor PA81 stereo power amplifier analyzer. And it's going to get uh, to the time stand light over here. And it will get past the 20, uh, in, uh, which is a 200 watts RMS. I suspect it will do about uh, 240 to 250 watts of clean power as these amplifiers are underrated. Let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. Keep an eye on the sine wave and the power. And these lights are going to come on. These lights should come on red any minute now. There they are. And the amplifier is actually doing about 240 watts of power. And it, it's almost, it's starting to clip, but it doesn't get to clip. I saw a little, I, I saw a little, Something starting to happen at the top of the sine wave, but it, it, it did not clip. The power guard prevented the amplifier from clipping, so it is working properly, and it is doing its rated power, so <laughs> applause to Macintosh. Good job, 40-some years, and it's still working perfectly. You know, that is actually amazing. All I did was give it some TLC. Okay, Rogo and I are listening to the amplifier connected to my system, and I am blown away using audio grade capacitors on the audio path definitely paid off it is incredibly holographic powerful sounding it is crystal clear there is space in between instruments there is an incredible depth in the sound stage there is the texture of the instruments are there it is in incredibly holographics. I have a 180 degree soundstage. I am submerged in the soundstage. Absolutely incredible. I am blown away. The capacitors that you put in the audio path make a dramatic difference. It's like uh, swapping tubes, vacuum tubes and an amplifier. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I uh, want to wish you good health, well-being, happiness, and lots of love. To you and your loved ones. Once again, thank you very much and I will see you soon. Please stay tuned for part 4 to repair the imperfections in the paint behind the glass.